I'm Mark Cuevas and welcome to New Media Weekly. Today I'm speaking with Mike Ghetto, Festival Director of the New York Television Festival. So the festival's conduit and, and you're having success because you, a lot of people are submitting. You have, you can point to an arc of growth. You've had people who began at the festival graduate and come back. Definitely. Where do you want this to go? That's the question, because things, I don't have to tell you how quickly things change. You're the one that says we have to take this in order to keep ahead. Where is that? Space program, I think. I think we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start a space. Uh, when Terrence started the festival, he had many moments of genius in terms of the way that he envisioned the festival setting up and the way that he carefully sort of crafted it. And one of the best things that he ever did was make sure that we stayed neutral. So that, you know, like he was, you know, very close with, with William Morris. And luckily and fortunately, they said, great, this is fantastic. As you go do this, you gotta go talk to Adam Berkowitz, the CAA, right now. So we were able to create this, this neutrality so that all networks can be involved. All agencies are involved. All studios can be involved. All portals on the web can be involved. All production companies, all, like you name it, it's a place that stays open. So as things have evolved in the past eight years, and they have, we've had a lot of freedom. There was nobody that we could not talk to. Right. There was, you know, as, as different players emerged, when, you know, Next New Networks and, you know, everybody, you know, it was easy for us to approach them or be approached by them and say, yes, come on in. So it doesn't quite answer your question in terms of where it's going, but what's given us a lot of freedom to adapt with wherever the content is going, wherever, whatever needs the buyers have and whatever needs the creators have, we can shift to meet them because we're neutral. Like we are, we are a platform for these people to come together. So, you know, are we gonna finally see a rise in mobile? Probably. And you'll be able to meet that need. Exactly because you're the well that they all come to drink from. Exactly, if there's somebody that needs content, if Applebee's tomorrow says, we're starting a channel in all our restaurants, that we're looking for content, maybe we can talk to Applebee's. Like there's, there's, because it's really not about a particular industry for us, it's about awesome content. And if you have awesome content, or you need awesome content, like we can help bring those things together. No matter where you're gonna sell it, on what device you're gonna watch it, where maybe you originally conceived it to go. Like maybe this was something that you always wanted to be a TV show, but it's actually perfect for a screen this big. So why don't you go talk to those guys and see. So in terms of the freedom that we've had, wherever it goes, I think we'll be able to adapt as, as a, as a company because we're, we're not just a festival that happens in the fall. We're 365 days of the year. Right. We launch competitions at the festival that then go over the holidays. What is the best piece of advice you could give for someone submitting to the festival? It's general, but it's about planning and it's about whether you want to call it pre-production or development or whatever, really think out your project from beginning to end. And if you have a specific goal in mind at the festival, a specific deal that we're offering, whether it's in the independent pilot competition or you know, a network initiative that's separate from that, really pay attention before you ever do anything to what your goal is. If you're trying to make something for A&E, make sure that you know what A&E is looking for. And read the brief, 
do some research so that that is incorporated into all of your planning pre-production and actually do pre-production. Like really, you know, it's not just a budget. It's not just making sure your friends are available. It's, it's from a story perspective and then beyond from a sales perspective. Like when I bring this in, what am I going to say? Right. Well, how does it all fit together? Have your pitch, have an idea of your marketing. Totally. Understand how it fits with their audience. Absolutely. And that's all before you ever pick up a camera, before you ever sit down to write it. Like it's right there. That that would be my the, my biggest piece of advice. That and pay a sound guy. <laughs>